What's the best way to burn a new version? Well, if you've seen one of my older videos, I actually talked about how to get rid of an old of your old new version. And I talked about that you really shouldn't burn them because it's offensive to people and whatever else. Well, I've since changed that because uh, the fact is the Bible says that they burn their basically occult arts and things. And these new versions are occult. They are people changing the word of God and a corrupted you know, perversion of scripture is far more evil than a spell book or some other book on human sacrifice or something like that. So I do advocate getting rid of these things. Now before you get all excited, if you're a new version user and you start watching this and you're getting all mad saying, well somebody could have gotten saved out of this thing. Uh, let me just tell you, most of these have come from people sending them to me in exchange for a King James Bible. So it's not that the Bible, they no longer have a Bible in their hands. No, they have the real Bible in their hands. And a lot of the other ones that I have, the other ones that I have, come from used bookstores where they've been sitting on the shelf for years and years and years. And people don't go to those used bookstores and go back to the used Bible section and look for a Bible to get saved out of. You know, it's time to grow up and not live in fantasy land. It doesn't happen that way. Okay? And by the way, you say, well, maybe people are ignorant about this issue. Okay. If you're watching this and you've never heard why the King James Bible, you've come across the right channel. I have a lot of videos explaining why. Go to my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com. We have hundreds of free videos, lots and lots of information, free downloads, all kinds of stuff. You can find out for free. The only thing it'll cost you is your time. Now, the problem is when you go to burn one of these things, the thickness of this, it doesn't want to burn that well. The outer pages act like insulation and you get it in the inside in here and this, it doesn't burn right. So I was trying to figure ways and you, know, you put lighter fluid on it or whatever else, flammable things to make it burn better. Nothing works. But I came upon a good idea. You see, these are perversions. So what's the problem with them? They're not holy. This is not a holy Bible. So what do you have to do? You have to make it holy. So I'm going to show you. Now there's different ways that you can make holes through them, but uh, I found a cordless drill works very well. I mean, you know, some people might want to, you know, use it for target practice or something, but that's not being a good steward of the money that God has provided with, you know, for you, because ammunition is very expensive. A cordless drill is much cheaper. So let me show you. Look here. Now what you want to do, just drill a couple holes. quite a job getting through these things. See, I'm the whole way through. Get in. I won't do that. Okay, and you gotta drill, drill a couple holes. This is a tough one, you know. And by the way, before I go much farther, this is the uh, NIV Spirit of the Reformation, which is really kind of a sick joke because the Spirit of the Reformation were the people that were fighting against the abuses of the Roman Catholic Church. And the Roman Catholic Church is the one who's behind this. This is a Vatican version, okay? You say, well, I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Okay, what are the two oldest and best manuscripts, supposedly, which this thing is based on Vaticanus and Sinaiticus. Codus is B and Aleph. Look it up. All right, that should do it. Gotta make sure it's clean before you throw it in. There, see? Now we have a truly holy Bible. The only time that this thing has ever been holy. Look at that. Nice, isn't it? You know? And see what happens is then this way the fire can get through the pages. They don't all stick together. Works really, really well. So uh, without further ado, let's bid this Alexandrian satanic perversion goodbye. I wanna open it up so it burns bet much better this way. And you just pop it right in the fire like that. Put some kindling around it, you know. Make sure it's nice. 
Now you want to come in here. Look at this. Coming this way. Can you see the flames coming up through the holes? The smoke and things coming up through. It's nice, isn't it? All right. Back up a little. So uh, there you have it. If you're wanting to find a good way, a very efficient way to burn these wicked modern versions. It's very cold out here right now. That's why there's all kinds of, uh, you can see my breath very well. But uh, if you're wanting a way to get rid of lots and lots of new versions, that's a good way to do it. And um, like I said, if you're new to this issue and you're very offended right now, uh, you'd be even more offended if you actually looked into some of the verse changes that these perversions do. All right. If you love Jesus Christ, you'll love His Word, the King James Bible. You'll study this issue. You won't be deceived, okay? And I just want to say this. There's a dirty little reprobate out there, James White, that says about yeah, the King James only people burn the new versions in ignorance. I saw some kind of video he put out like that a long time ago. Uh, I'm not burning these in ignorance, all right? I'm not some little hillbilly out in the middle of nowhere that doesn't know what he's talking about and just burns Bibles because I'm an idiot. All right, I know the issue. Go to our website, you can check it out. You can see the fact that there are different Greek texts. These are not, the NIV is not the same Bible as the King James Bible. They're totally different Bibles. Come from two different parts of the world. Not even based on the same Greek text. So, you need to study the issue before leaving a stupid comment telling me that I'm some kind of a narrow-minded bigot and whatever else, all right? The Catholic Church that's behind these new versions burned Christians at the stake. All right? You better study the issue. And if you have one and you need to burn it, there's a good way to do it. Thank you for watching. Many of you asked to see this when I do it, so I'm going to do this very quickly here. It's kind of windy today, so hopefully the sound will turn out. Um, you wanted to see me burning something. Let me show you. Down here, here we have the Lord of the Rings. Satanic filth that it is. And I said back in my study that I'm going to burn it because it is satanic. You can watch the study if you don't know the evidence for that. So there we go. Burn, baby, burn. Just a, uh, just a kind of a foreshadow of what's coming to anybody that believes in the Lord of the Rings nonsense. That's real windy right now, so got to be real careful. There it is. All the satanic garbage in the fire, getting burned. If you're a big fan of the Lord of the Rings, let me just say, with all Christian charity, you better get saved, you better get repent and get away from that stuff, or you're going to go to hell and you're going to burn in a fire that's a lot hotter than that one. I'm not your enemy for telling you, I, I'm telling you and speaking the truth, because I care about people and I don't want them to go to hell for eternity. That's where Tolkien is right now. He knows better. I'm sure he'd be cheering what I'm doing right now. Hell's a real place. All right, that's it.